Hello, everyone. Okay, so I saw some hands go up for people who were already setting SLIs and SLOs. Is everybody here familiar with our SLO functionality right now? Hands up if you are. Okay, so we're gonna get more hands up as we go on the rest of the day. So there's a lot of conversations about SLOs lately. We've been working with customers, many of you here, I'm seeing some of you, um, who have been investing a lot of time into identifying service level objectives and indicators, and there's a reason for this. And Frank spoke a lot about this as well. And I'm gonna talk about um, how SLOs open the doors. But before I do that, is there anybody who is totally new to the concepts of SLIs and SLOs? Okay. So with that said, let's just get on the same page and go through some definitions really quickly. Um, so service level indicators, these are the metrics. This is what you're measuring. Service level objectives, this is the sweet spot of user happiness, the target that you want to achieve. And service level agreements sometimes get confused with SLOs, but this is the external agreement that you have with your user. It's that binding agreement. And altogether, they provide the ability to measure the right things, to set achievable targets, and to share, communicate, and make informed decisions. You heard Frank speak a lot about this with his OKR planning. And to just quickly put this into perspective, so uh, let's look at Acme Corp. So Acme's customers rely on their APIs to run their own businesses. So they need to maintain a monthly SLA of 99.5%. And if they breach that SLA, they're going to be on the hook financially. So whether that's owing some service credit back to those customers, but they want to avoid that. So to do that, they're going to start identifying some SLIs. And in this case, it's latency. So latency has to be less than 200 milliseconds. Uh, but keep in mind that latency is just one example. Um, in a few slides, I'll talk about some other examples that Datadog also supports. Um, but here's, here's what they need to measure. And they've set their target as an SLO of 99.8%, and you'll see that it is more strict than that SLA, but this is because this is the sweet spot of customer success, and this is what they want to measure for. But Acme also has customers that are relying on them. So we talk a lot about, okay, well, there's like finances on the line, you can't breach the SLA, but they also have customers that are relying on them, so there's more than just finances on the line. And at the end of the day, SLOs are a customer-focused approach to doing things, prioritizing feature requests, prioritizing product decisions, and reliability and stability. And it's not that SLOs should become a burden. They're there to provide guidelines into how the services are performing, how everything should be operating. And it's more than just customers that benefit. So if you operate like Acme Corp, you have a level of reliability that you need to maintain. And if you aren't meeting it, it's not just the SLAs that are blowing up. It's also folks that are on call responding to all of the breaches or all of the incidents that now the SLOs are being breached. Um, and we need to bring people into this as well. So it's not just all the numbers. It's not just that operational data. It's how are you doing as well. So SLOs become a tool for collaborating and keeping everybody on the same page. So what does that look like in Datadog? So to get started, um, we have different ways that you can uh, create SLIs. So one is a monitor-based SLI. So this is time-driven. So 99% of the time latency is less than 200 milliseconds. But we also have event-based SLIs where you might care about the percentage of requests. So a success ratio. 99% of requests have latency less than 200 milliseconds. So there's a bit of a difference there, but these are two different SLIs that we'll be able to cover in Datadog. So what do those look like? So looking at this, this is a uh, event-based SLI um, and a visualization that you would get. So on the bottom, this graph is showing the, the good and bad requests, and I filtered it down to just the bad ones because if uh, something is going wrong, I want to see exactly what is happening, and I can drill in from here. Um, I'm looking at a seven-day window. I have a target of 99.9, .9, but I'm currently at 99.965, so everything is looking good. And I also have the error budget. And for an event-based SLI, we're looking at this in the percentage of requests or the estimated percentage of requests that you have uh, that could potentially be error. And on the other hand, this is that monitor-driven or that time-driven where we're not looking at the percentage of requests, but we're looking at that proportion of time represented in the green and the red. So everything in the green, 98.811% of the time I was up over this 90-day window. It is in the red, but this is something that's giving me that information that I can go in and dig in and see exactly what's going on. 
So I mentioned before that latency is just one example. We use that example quite a bit, but there are other SLIs that you can be implementing. So for response and request, storage and pipeline, uh, we'll be at our on-call experience demo station, and we can talk a lot of, more about this during that. So with views like this, and this is our service level objective list view, um, you can use this to communicate across the organization. So let's say that you don't care from one team to the next. You just care about your own team specific SLOs. Uh, everything is tagged within Datadog. So if you've been using Datadog for a while, that shouldn't be too much of a surprise. But same thing applies to SLOs. So once you're on this view, you can start filtering down to the teams that you want to see. So you can see where the burden is the most. Where is that error budget breaching? What which SLOs are breached, what's the health of the services, and you can filter and get those views. Digging in a little bit further, um, this is the detail panel, so this should look familiar. This is that event-based SLI that I showed you before, um, but just zooming out a little bit, we are giving you some more detail, so you can see, like with the query, what is the actual SLI that I'm, that I'm measuring against? Um, you can also add a description box, so being able to actually say, this is the SLI that I chose, this is the SLO that we're measuring against, and why. So when you do go in to say, okay, why did we breach, or why are we choosing uh, to measure this particular metric, you have all that information here when you're collaborating with your teams. And very exciting that service level objectives are available today for everybody. So once you go into Datadog, what are you actually going to get? So out of the box, you're going to get error budget tracking. Um, you're going to be able to search and filter for SLOs for reporting, so in that list view that I showed you before. You'll be able to add a description and annotating like why those SLIs and SLOs were chosen. And then you'll also have an SLO widget so you can add these onto your dashboards. Within Datadog, you can create SLIs or implement SLIs in various different ways. So with metrics, custom metrics, integration metrics, APM metrics. Um, if you're using log management and you're part of the log-based metrics beta, you can also use those metrics and synthetics tests as well. All right, so thank you very much. Um, if you're joining the workshop, we'll be talking more about SLOs in the workshop and also at the on-call experience booth. Thank you. Thank you.